All right, so now we are with the Pocatello Animal Shelter. Sarah, good morning, Sarah. Good morning. And who do we have here? This is Betty. Betty, awesome. How old is Betty? Betty is about three and a half years old, although she acts like she has the energy of a puppy. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching that. What type of breed is she? You know, we're really not quite sure. She could be a mix of different things. We see a little bit of American Bulldog in her. She might even have a little bit of hound, like a plot hound in her. Nice. And what's her personality like? Uh, I mean, we can we see it. We have a good idea right now, but you guys probably know a little more when you see her more at the shelter. Um, she's a very enthusiastic dog. She is one who thinks she's an expert in everything. Um, so she's the kind of dog who's going to want to be involved in the kitchen if you're cooking. If you have um, some repairman come over, she's probably going to think, oh, I can go help him. <laughs> she just wants right? to be involved in everything. Nice. I love that. And is she housebroken? Um, she's definitely a dog who, when we get her outside, she's going to take her time to do her business. But again, we can't guarantee any dog is house trained, so it's right. best to anticipate needing to do a little house training when you get a new dog. Sure. And how about with kids? Like, if you have uh, family with kids? And... You know, Betty has not met a stranger that I have seen. She loves everybody. I'm sure she would love kids. Um, as you can see, she's a little jumpy, though, so she might be a little overwhelming for some smaller kids. Nice. And Spade. How about Spade? She is Spade and up to date on all vaccines and ready to go home. Nice. Is there any special needs? Uh, nope. She's just a dog who's going to need a little training and manners and right. um, getting to uh, adjust her to living in a home. And how long has she been in the shelter? She's one of our longer term dogs. Okay. She has been with us since November of last year, so she's been with us for about eight months or so. So somebody needs to come and get Betty. Someone so needs to come get, get her. Home, right. Um, how can you acclimate a, pet, a new pet to your home? Uh, the best thing to do is just give them time. Um, that way, you know, it takes a dog some time to adjust to a new home, just like it takes people to adjust to living somewhere new. Uh, one of the best things you can do is keep a house leash on them for the first several days, which means just keeping a leash attached to their collar that they drag around. That way, if they get into the trash or get into something they're not supposed to, you can safely grab the end of the leash to pull them away from it, and it makes it easier to grab a more shy, fearful dog to get them outside for their potty breaks. That way you're not um, being in their space and when they don't really know you that well yet. Nice, all right. And then, it, do you guys need volunteers right now at the shelter? Is oh, there... absolutely. We always need volunteers uh, to help play with the dogs, walk the dogs, socialize them, socialize the cats, and give them some love. So volunteers are always needed, and if you're interested, you can head to our website, pocatello.gov slash animal services, and fill out an application online. Perfect. Okay, well, thank you for being with us today, Sarah and Betty. And if you want to adopt Betty, just go up to the Pocatello Animal Shelter and get Betty.